Hi there, this is Daniel with End Time Country Living and on this video I wanted to show you guys a little bit about how I am winnowing my flaxseed. So I grew, last year I grew a bunch of flaxseed and it did very well and so I have about a half a, oh, two and a half gallons or so worth of uh, chaff and flaxseed that I want to uh, winnow out. I did all the threshing last year in the fall after I harvested it and just kind of been let it dry and just keep it around until I have a, some spare time to get the winnowing done. Um, so I found some time and got motivated today to get that done. So I just kind of want to show you a few tips on how, to, how you can uh, quickly get that done effectively and um, you know get some nice clean seed out of it. So here's my setup here. The front steps is a nice flat, uh, easy surface with a um, area where I can let the chaff flow, um, blow off and not worry about where it's going. Um, also the nice clean surface here I can sweep off um, and collect the seed again if somehow I, I fail to uh, winnow it correctly or I got too much wind and it blows too much of my seed over. I did a little bit of a test here. Pulling the fan back here, this area over here, uh, just to check to make sure that I'm not losing seed. And if I am, I can you know take a dustpan and sweep, use a broom and sweep that back in and reprocess it here. Uh, so it seems to be doing really well and not really losing any seed here. So I'm just going to run my tub um, over to the edge here. Uh, so it's going to be blowing over the edge of the step. And then I'm going to set my fan to so just a variable speed fan. have it on low right now. And I'm wanting to blow it up at an angle, blowing up. That seems to work well. I've done, you know, kind of uh, across or a little bit down. And that doesn't seem to work as well as blowing it up because you want to blow the chaff up and over. And it's okay if the seed goes up a little bit as long as it's going to fall again. Um, so I just set it up at this angle, trying to figure out a good distance from it. So it's just kind of a gentle breeze and it's just dropping the seed in there like that. So I'll kind of show you what that looks like. Take my bucket here. And I'm just going to put it in between my legs here and grabbing a handful. You could also just shake it a little bit here. It's fine. However you want to do it. Do the back and forth motion. You have to bend over a little bit more. Uh, so it's a little bit hard in the back to do it that way. So I can get down and um, get a little more straighter back doing it this way. Get a little bit more coverage. Okay, so now the next step is um, turn the fan off here. I'm going to do a screening now to get all the, the big stuff out here. Um, now that there's most of the fine stuff is through, blown off, I can get very, uh, majority of it's going to be just kind of the bigger stuff. Uh, some of the pods that, uh, pieces, 
it didn't get uh, taken out and blown away and then some of the, the sticks and things like that that are still left in here so this colander is working fairly well to, to screen it so there's the shaking dumped it all in there and just kind of shaking it through and it's producing some quite fine grain there our seeds clean, fairly clean seeds but still needs a little bit of winnowing I think on there So the idea is to have um, screens that are a finer screen that will just let some of the dusty stuff through but hold the seed and then bigger screens that let the seed through but don't let the bigger stuff than the seeds through like what I'm doing now. So the seeds will go through here but if I want also could go for a, a finer screen that wouldn't, would not let the seed through. Um, but would let some of the smaller little little tiny stuff uh, go through you know, the dust and stuff like that so that's when you do that then you get both sides of it and then you're left with the seed in the middle you run it through both screens okay here's what it looks like afterwards not perfectly clean but i think it'll be clean enough for grinding it and using it best I can do for right now. I'll have to weigh it and see how much we got there but that's about how much there is there. So maybe three quarters of a quart maybe, maybe almost a quart full. So anyway that's a was a 25 uh, foot by two and a half feet bed that I did it in. So that wasn't too bad, but it doesn't, you know, it's a lot of labor for a little amount of seed. But at least I know how to do it now in case I need to in the future. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope that was educational. You get some ideas of uh, before you want to attempt this to see it, it does take quite a while. It probably took me, oh, 45 minutes or so to run it through there. So it does take some time to keep pouring and re pouring and re pouring again. And, you know, different different angles, techniques, different things like that. So hopefully this speeds up your process a little bit. Um, but it's a good good skill to have. So, all right, I'll catch you guys on the next video.